Well, all right, this is Grand Theft Auto 4, Episodes of Liberty City. Um, this is the first DLC that came, or that was available for the game, uh, The Lost of the Damned. Um, <clears throat> this, uh, this game, uh, <clears throat> I have the, heart, uh, the physical copy, uh, the PlayStation 3 version. So, <clears throat> it also comes with the Battle of Gay Tony. I'll play a little bit of that some other time, but right now I just want to, you know, uh, do this game, just play it a bit, and um, yeah, this is a uh, this is very fun. It's really cool to see at times different perspectives of the same game as Grand Theft Auto Five or Four. Pardon me, but. Uh, just from a different perspective, and same with the Battle of Gay Tony. Um, anyway, you know, and I've also talked about a bit of the whole GTA 6 situation, so I don't really need to get into <clears throat> any of that, but yeah, without further ado, I'm just gonna get into playing the game. And I've also uh, turned off all the music, so if I get into some other car or whatever the radio will not be on so i don't have to provide any copyright stuff yeah it, 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 uh, <clears throat> place you get to stay in after you win you know it's not like uh, gta a normal GTA 4 where you know you can stay at v various places you only get like one safe house and that's kind of unfortunate but being part of a biker gang this makes sense though I think that's mine so I'm just gonna go and uh, go somewhere else Yeah, I, I, I've always loved Grand Theft Auto 4 and the expansions, like that this game and the other game they came along with the, with the <clears throat> GTA 4 overall. Very good stories, very good characters. I just, yeah, I, I always love these games. I can, I can, every so often, again, I'll play these games and just, it's like, just love the. Uh, world and the story and everything about this game I just whoa well that sucks thankfully I have cheat codes Careful about regarding this stuff, like a cheat codes, you know, and stuff. Because sometimes with games like this, like you know, if you're low on health and it's like you want to just get through a level that's, you know, may not necessarily be the easiest. Though I don't think that there's a whole lot of super hard levels in these games. I mean, there are the occasional difficult level and stuff, but. You know, for the most part, they're it's pretty good. I, uh, uh, I enjoy uh, these games. Uh, there's something about Grand Theft Auto 4 where I thought the balance was really good. Where, you know, there, like there was, the games were, or the levels were very, they were very fair. That's not to say the other games in the series did, weren't fair in terms of their levels, but I don't know, sometimes there could be a fairly difficult games here and there, or levels, I don't know why I keep saying games, it makes no sense. But there is just something about, uh, 
yeah, like this and this game and it's just it's just a, a good perfect balance of regarding the, the difficulty it wasn't too difficult wasn't too easy it was just like perfect if that makes any sense oh drug addict there's a shotgun well let's go do some gang thing What sucks is after so, after a while, the you whole know, gang war stuff is gonna be done and over with. And I and I only say that because I, I find with, when you're done with the main missions, like I find those to be the most interesting and fun, like uh, things you can do after the game is over, like after the main story is done. Like those are the ones that are. Those are the most like fun to do for me, at least. But you know they, they want you to do a bunch of other things or have the ability to. Um, I've never been much of a racing guy, so I've never been too fond of yeah any of the racing stuff myself. Sometimes it's fine. Other times it's kind of like I could just do without it. But I know there's people who really love and enjoy the racing uh, levels or racing games. So, yeah. So, let's do this. Find the rival gangs over already. That's where they are. Just want to make sure, you know, just to have a good frame of reference as to how far <laughs> gotta go. And the fact that it's, you know, raining is really great. get the cops here. That won't be too fun. I do like how you're able to get certain special weapons. Though of course you're not you're not able to get them when you do cheat codes, but you know though of course you know there are fairly expensive, so obviously some special weapons that you're able to get from one of your fellow brothers in the game, like, you know, gotta have, make sure you have a decent amount of money in order to do it, otherwise <laughs> you're not gonna be able to you're not gonna be able to, you know, get them. But also, if you do these, you know, gang war stuff, you're going to be able to, most likely, you know, after you kill a bunch of them, you're able to
Nice words. Yeah. Okay, cool. Here's one of the guns that are exclusive. Unfortunately, we lost some guys, which does happen, but, you know. So, yeah, this is basically what I kind of like to do here and there. Uh, when all the missions are done. Um, though I do occasionally here and there, I do go and replay the whole game again. I actually uh, was in the process prior to, you know, replaying the, uh, uh, the Battle of the Gay Tony, uh, the other game on this disc. Um, and that's really cool, and they have a, that game has its own sort of like weapons and such too, though you're able to actually access those with the cheat code too, like even though you get them in the game. You're able to then, you know, get them with a cheat code and such. So, you know, that's really cool. And then there's a dove. And then what you do is you go and you shoot this dove. Or seagulls. And somebody's shooting at me. Who's doing that? This guy. Well, there we go. There's that. And... All right, no police. Go to the 
gun store just to get some more ammunition because I could just use a cheat code but then I'd lose the uh, like certain pistol that I've got and you gotta pay a decent amount just to get that in the game. And I don't know, I, I forget why I don't have as much money, but I, 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 I clearly did something, like got a bunch of stuff and whatever, so that was probably, actually I probably bought a bunch of, yeah, those specific weapons, and so by the time I played it again, months, many months later, uh, it was basically, had a, uh, a little more than two thousand dollars. All right, here we go in here and feel free to browse, buddy, but don't try anything funny. Classic, reliable, and attractive to the eye. Oh, yeah. Ready. I we have a report of uh, a firearm discharge. We gotta do that. You're a dead man. Let's end this quickly. Forgive me. It's just a gun. And then we go. Uh, you didn't even say please, so no. And then bam. Anyway, that's really it. Or what I wanted to show, just me playing whatever this game. Oh. Yeah, I used to be able to go through that. And hey, there's a phone where Miko's able to do those mi mi uh, missions from the guy who always uses the payphone. So, yeah, that's really it. And, uh, Hope this was somewhat kind of entertaining. I understand if that wasn't all that interesting. Well, uh, yeah. Just some more low-quality game. And that's it. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.